Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about, uh, this is a second lecture on consequences of deforestation. In last lecture I have discussed one consequence along with uh, what is deforestation. Okay. Now I will discuss about two other consequences of deforestation. Now second one is desertification. Okay students, because deforestation is a major cause, means it is a great cause which leads to change in soil properties. Okay, and physical properties of the soil gets affected by plantation and vegetation. Okay, means In your previous classes, you also have studied that plants, how plants save soil erosion because when there will be, let's say that I am giving you example of a tree, this is a tree, okay. So the branches of the tree will hold the soil around it. Okay students, so I hope you guys are clear that the more the number of the trees, more the number of trees, lesser is the soil erosion. Okay, so it means lesser is the desertification. So this is one of the consequence of deforestation means if there will be less number of trees then more soil erosion more soil erosion and gradually soil become less fertile less fertile and get converted into deserts and get converted into deserts so this is called desertification of the land okay now comes to the third change due to the deforestation. Let me erase all this first. The third consequence of the deforestation is floods. Because due to deforestation, due to deforestation students, the water hold, it leads to water holding capacity of soil gets reduced. So as the water holding capacity of the soil get reduced, the movement of water from the soil surface into ground from the soil surface into the ground reduces 
top into the ground is reduced okay thus result into more floods this is somewhat related to desertification because when the ground converts into deserts okay so the water holding capacity of the soil gets reduces water holding capacity reduces okay so as the water holding capacity reduces the movement of water so this is the soil surface and the movement of water from above to below gets reduced okay so thus result into the floods so i hope students you are pretty clear about now all the consequences of deforestation okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you students happy learning